Some famous VCs are just VCs. Others are starting universities for heroes. My guest today is one of the best known, uh, one of the most entertaining venture capitalists in Silicon Valley, <laughs> Tim Draper. And he's also the founder of a new university. Tim, welcome to TechCrunch TV. Great, thanks for having me. So Tim, we're it's not gonna talk about investments today. We're not gonna talk about business. We're talking about education. What, okay. what is Draper University? Well, Draper University of Heroes is a new kind of university. I've always wanted to start a university. I've always wanted to sort of improve education. And, uh, and I started with a school voucher initiative and I moved on to starting something called BizWorld, which teaches young kids how business works. And then I thought, well, no, well, I'll just lead by example and I'll set something up. And I, I'm in a position where I can do it. And, uh, and what do I know about education? I don't, but I know a lot about entrepreneurs. And so I have started a school that, um, that where people say, I can't, that you can't train entrepreneurship. I'm, I'm doing what can't be done. So when did you start it? Uh, we started about a year ago and uh, I bought an old hotel in San Mateo and I've, uh, I've renovated and changed it and now it's a boarding school. And is this a, a for-profit thing? Uh, yeah, it's a for-profit university. Uh, I, I, we, our tuition is ninety-five hundred, but we which we isn't make, a bad deal. No, actually, it's cheaper it's for, than Cal. Uh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's cheaper than most schools for a quarter, and uh, and the reason um, we're staying as a, a for-profit and we are not accredited uh, is that we want the flexibility. We want to be able to do things that other schools would never attempt to do. So I know you, you've made a lot of investments in, in learning, in new online universities. You must see a lot of pitches. What are you doing with your university that isn't being done outside? Well, for one thing, our university is not, uh, we have no uh, faculty, no full-time faculty. The people who come and speak to our students are all uh, very successful in their fields. And so our students get firsthand knowledge. Give me some examples. I assume uh, you're teaching. I do some teaching. Uh, Ron Johnson uh, teaches uh, merchandising. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Tony Shea, who teaches corporate culture. Um, Are you paying these people? Uh, no, but they like doing it. And it's a fun thing to do. And what I mean, there's always some sort of a quid pro quo. I go to Tony Shea's Las Vegas thing, and we kind of work out how often he comes and how often I come. Ron may actually become more a part of it. And, uh, so this is kind of like a Huffington Post for education. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a nice way to look at it. Um, now that's not all we do though. Uh, we try to get inside people's heads and see where their barriers are. And, and then we change things. So like we change the rules to everything. We change the rules to baseball and risk and monopoly. Well, what are you doing they, with monopoly? With monopoly, well. Um, no get out of jail free? No, we, monopoly is sort of more playful. Uh, it has to do with, you can hit somebody with a pillow if something happens, if they don't pay their rent or whatever. Um, risk, we have something called nuclear risk. And baseball, we um, So you destroy the whole swing. board in one, in one. You can, you can destroy, well, if you, if you fire a nuke, there's a nuclear winter in, in all of the adjacent countries. Um, in baseball, you, um, it's only one pitch from your own team. All the fielders change positions every pitch. And so they're all moving at all times. And then if you miss the ball or uh, foul it off, you, you have to run backwards down to third So base. this is a university of disruption. The idea is to, to change things and be Everything. very comfortable changing things. Including and, and, the students. Including the students. And then we have survival training. Uh, so well, we physical. want to know physical and uh, both urban and rural survival. And we have different programs for each of them. There's in the rural survival training, there's how do you make fire, how do you suture, how do you build a boat um, in the urban survival training, we change it up regularly, but uh, you know, you have 24 hours to get a job or you have uh, a, a whole variety of different things that we do. So is this a do. kind of a, a different kind of slant, a different play on, on Peter Thiel's 
investment in smart kids to get them out of university? Because what, what you're doing obviously doesn't sound like traditional university. Yeah, we're not trying to replace university. I think universities do a good job, but are the kids going for certain types of people. Are the kids people. going from your experience to Stanford or from Stanford, or are they? Yeah, we actually have, um, we work quite a bit with Stanford. In fact, Tina Selig, who runs their entrepreneurial program, is on the board. Um, but we, uh, and, and some of the Stanford students get credit for coming to Draper University for a quarter. They'll get a quarter's worth of credit or something like that. Um, and, and that's just with certain professors and they, it's like an independent study for them. Uh, going back, we have found that people go, go to Draper University and then they, if they go back to school, uh, their grades all improve. Hmm. Um, and if they don't go back to school, they go off and run a business. I don't think we've created any dropouts, um, but they have in their heads a new platform from which to think and where to go with their life and how to approach the idea of getting a job. They actually go and they create their own job. Um, they, they realize that uh, the world's out there to be uh, reinvented and changed and improved and they find uh, some extraordinary... So this is boot camp, essentially, for, for entrepreneurs. Is that fair? I don't think so, because we get down to what, what they're really made of. Uh, it, so we're, we're not just kind of push, 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 shove, shove, shove. We're, we're kind of... Um, it's immersive. They go through a process, and they come out the other end, and they look at the world in a new way. Who are you pissing off here? Who, 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 when they hear about Draper University, says, oh, that's terrible. That's a disgrace. I don't like that idea. Well, I think the other venture capitalists are a little are bit nervous. Are they envious of you? A little bit nervous so because have... we've set up, uh, in effect, an R&D center for venture capital. Um, and, uh, and do you I, tell? Do I, you nail down your students so that if they do an entrepreneurial uh, thing, that they have to do it with you? No, no, no. They're free. They're free as the breeze. Um, but we do have an incubator that follows uh, Boost uh, VC that's being run by my son, Adam. Is uh, is an incubator that uh, runs uh, near our university, and some of our students are applying to be Boost members, and if they do that, then yeah, of course, there would be ownership in their So businesses. this is a kind of a talent play, in a way, from your point of view. Yeah, we're looking for the absolute best and the brightest, but not necessarily the ones with the best grades, although those are not, that's nice. We don't actually have grades on our application. We're looking for creativity. We're looking for people who have just an inkling of of you know what what it would take to change the world in some way or some that little um, thing that says you know I'm angry about this or I have a big opportunity here or or something is going on in their mind there's a spark and what we're trying to do is ignite that spark. Can I come Tim? <laughs> uh, you can because we're going to do a two-week executive session but generally, we're looking for kids, people too. who are 18 to 28. Well, you're going to have a lot. I guarantee one thing is that there's going to be a lot of people watching this thing and say, I want to go to this thing. So firstly, how many people do you accept? How does it work? How much does it cost? Very briefly. So we Give take, everyone we take 40. OK, my pitch, very simply. And he has a little piece of paper. He couldn't August remember it. August 5th. Session dates uh, September 30th to November uh, 15th. And where they get the application from, the website? And the application's at draperuniversity.com. And, uh, and so the fall uh, opens uh, September 30th, goes 40, to October 40 15th. people you accept. How many applicants? And we take 40. Uh, as many as show How many up. do you expect? 400, um, 4,000? No, I expect more like two, 300. In and do you range. have a committee making a call on who to accept? And we have a committee on who to accept. And we have a, um, and that's uh, good. It, it actually works out quite well. And they, and I have sort of trained them to look for certain things, real spark, and uh, which is which is different from academic. How do you find spark? Um, we're looking for a, 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 someone who's willing to think a little differently and maybe stick their neck out a little bit. And that's what that's kind of what we're. Thinking and how much about. does it cost? And we have, and it's ninety five hundred dollars. Or right, we're you, starting a new program that's the online school. That's uh, only well this time it's three ninety nine. It's going to be twenty five hundred dollars. Three dollars ninety nine cents. Uh, three hundred ninety nine dollars. Oh, okay. 
And it's going to run parallel to the uh, immersive boarding school. And, uh, and we're really quite excited about that, too, that we'll have an online and an offline school. Well, Tim Draper, you've sold me on this thing. Uh, I don't think you could make me into a successful entrepreneur, but I'd love to attend or I'd love to come down and actually look at it. And I hope um, you'll send some of your kids onto the show to talk about their experience and, and how you're teaching them to think about the world differently. Tim Draper, the well-known VC who has also now become the father, the founder of Draper University for Heroes. It's a real pleasure, a real honor to have you on TechCrunch TV. It was great to be here.